Hi, I'm Chris Purser, and in this episode of Beats and Bobs, we're going to look at using linear threes to make this fill. So, linear threes, where we're simply playing a group of two on the hands and one on the bass drum, making the magic number of three. So in this case, we're gonna play kick, right, left, as our group of three. So this is gonna be the main concept of this fill idea. However, there's also gonna be some single linear action in there as well, featuring a single note on the hand and a single note on the bass drum. So, what better way to start than to see that notation? So in beat one, we have a bass drum on its own, followed by a single hi-hat, an accented snare drum, and then a bass drum, counting this phrase as one E and a. Hey guys, if you're finding these videos helpful, please feel free to like and click that subscribe button. Then in beat two, we have an accented snare drum, and then a single bass drum, and then a right left on the hi-hat, so two 16th notes, counting this group as two E and a. Uh. So we have an accented snare drum in this beat and the previous beat, and that's gonna give us this launch pad to create the rest of the fill using our linear threes. In B3, we have a bass drum on its own, and then we have a right left on the tom. I'm playing that on my second rack tom, and then we have a bass drum to follow, giving us this kick right left kick phrase. Therefore, that would be counted as three E and R. And finally on beat four, we're playing this right, left on the floor tom, bass drum, and then a left hand on the floor tom, giving us four, E, and a. Uh. Boom, 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 boom. And that last note being a left hand then allows us to get back onto our dominant hand to resume a crash cymbal or the rest of the groove or whatever context you're putting this into. So there we have it, a fill using linear threes and linear in general to kind of give us this nice melodic sounding idea. A really fun one to practice and one that will really help us out when it comes to developing our note flow and the spacing between those notes, especially in a 16th note or 32nd note context. As always, that PDF link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching another video. Happy practicing. Stay well, and we'll see you soon.